Good day guys, welcome to 819 Fishing Tactics. Today, uh, my name's Anthony, and today I'm gonna review the Ion Alpha Plus Ice Auger. Uh, we're gonna go through some specs and stuff. I'm gonna actually review the eight inch, which is this one right here, and the 10 inch. The biggest thing that you feel right away off the bat is, is the weight. Uh, the eight inch with the uh, bit for the eight is under 16 pounds. And uh, the one, uh, this one here, which is the 10 inch, uh, you're looking at about under 17 pounds. So it's only about a pound difference, uh, which is really nice as well. You got a few few features. First of all, the cup that sits here, now it's, it's super nice. It fits super snug. I, uh, If you've seen in my older videos, I've used uh, the older model, the generation one. And I gotta say, it's a huge difference. First of all, it, it, I got the steel one. This is the composite ones. Um, and it's got a nice little point. If you look right there, it's got a nice little point just so it doesn't jump around. These blades are so sharp. And uh, this, this cup here sits on here so firmly. Uh, the older model, it actually falls off in my sled. It always was afraid that I would, I think I actually damaged some of my snow pants one time because it had fallen off when I was carrying it and I didn't notice. I had to send them out, send them out for repair. But anyways, that's, uh, either way, the, the first gen was a great one, but man, they've done some pretty good uh, upgrades on this device here. Let me show you a couple more things. So first of all, it's a 40, 40 volt. The uh, battery is uh, three amp hour. No, uh, sorry, four amp hour. The older one's three amp hour. And I must say it's got a nice little locking mechanism here, which is kind of cool now, if you see that. So there's a nice little locking mechanism. So now you don't need the, uh, the rubber band that was kind of a pain in the butt to get on. And uh, yeah, so there's another, there's also a, reverse button that toggles on and off rather than holding it uh, so you hold down on this lever right here okay and then you press this button and that's how you activate it it also has got a nice a nice LED light too right there which I have actually used it in the dark and it's actually pretty phenomenal it brightens up quite a bit and uh, we're gonna do a drill test on the 10 to start and then we're gonna move on to the 8 uh, the 10 is supposed to be able to drill, uh, I think it's 3.4 inches per second, and then the 8 inch is 2.2 inches per second. Uh, the 10 inch got on a full battery, you're looking at about 1200 inches on a full charge, and then the 8 you're looking at about 2000 inches on a full charge. Uh, so anyway, let's, uh, that's, oh, another thing too, it's got a nice little Allen key uh, slot here. So since I have two of them, I use this one more for Lakers. That's more my walleye and this is, I'd say Lakers and Big Pike and then walleye and everything else for the eight inch. But uh, I gotta say the first time I, that, that I used the 10 inch, I was really surprised. It was so much smoother than my eight inch, uh, the other Ion eight inch auger. I mean, it's a brand new blade, uh, but I gotta say it was a world of a difference. So. Anyway, I'm going to show you. We got about 16 inches of ice right under us. So we're going to do uh, one drill with a 10 inch. Then we're going to change blades. And uh, I'm going to put a timer on that to see what the difference is uh, in the 16, uh, 16 inches of ice uh, with both bits. So we're going to start with a 10 inch. Let's take a look here. So fresh piece of ice here. All right. So we're going to start the timer right now. So, I counted about 10 Mississippis there. Uh, depending on what the timer says, that'll be more accurate. But I mean, that's pretty great for six, uh, 16 inches of ice. 16 to 17, I'd say, of, of, uh, of black ice. Uh, pretty phenomenal. You can see that was pretty effortless. My hands, literally, I, I don't, you don't really need any strength to hold this. It, it just goes, uh, it's, well, I'm, I'm so surprised with this thing, it's it's great. And uh, I mean, I had the older iron, I fell in love with it. And when I, when I actually ran into a buddy at the marina here, he was using this one. He told me, hey, give it a try. And I tried it once, fell in love with it. And I went out and bought it right away because I was just, it was, wow, it was, 
it was pretty phenomenal. Anyway, let's put the eight inch blade on now and see uh, how long that takes uh, to get done. You got the eight inch on there. That was kind of hard to do out here, but I say I never really change my auger bits when I'm out and about in the cold. I would do that uh, when I'm home, depending on where I'm fishing. I mean, if I'm gone for a long period of time on the weekend, I usually have a shack I could do it in. Not ideal to do it in the cold. Uh, it's you're holding a cold wrench and you're dealing with a cold, a cold uh, tool. So, anyways. Uh, I want to add to, uh, I went fishing with uh, the 10 inch for my, uh, my 10 inch for, uh, I went fishing for trout, Lakers the other day. We drilled about 30 to 40 holes and I'm telling you, uh, there was only like eight inches of ice, but I mean, the battery was more than three quarters full after that. So, I mean, it's pretty effortless. The 40, uh, the 40 amp is, uh, is, or 40 watt is pretty, pretty incredible. Um, Anywho, uh, let's see how long it takes uh, the eight inch to drill through the same amount. It was about 10, uh, 10 seconds for the 10 inch. Now let's try the eight inch. All right, let's start the timer right about now. So remember the 10 inch auger did 8.9 seconds. And now the eight inch auger does 8.7 seconds. How is that even possible? Only 0.2 difference for 16 inches of ice and I gotta say I'm pretty pleased with this um, no complaints so far I've used this auger maybe I'd say a handful of times at this point and uh, no complaints at all uh, pretty content with it I'd say if you're looking for a new auger and you're you're thinking about going gas propane electric um, I would highly recommend this auger this is the ion alpha plus like I said, I got the 8 inch and I got the 10 inch bit for different types of fishing. And uh, I guess I just spoiled myself a little bit because I was so in love with it. Uh, price on these guys, you're looking at about $1,000 for the kit with the two batteries. Uh, one thing I would recommend is getting these bags. They fit the two batteries in nicely and they also have slots in there. Where you could stick in some of the uh, some of those some of those hand warmers. So on those really cold days when you're hole hopping and it's like minus 30 out. I mean, not that a lot of people do that, anyways. Um, usually, uh, ion batteries will uh, will drain pretty quick when it's the colder it is out. So anyway, this is, might be something you want to invest in. I also got the bag for it, but I mean, you don't necessarily need the bag for the auger. That's more just for transport reasons, and I, I barely use it. But uh, there you have it. Uh, this is the Ion uh, Auger, the Alpha Plus, and I would say uh, it's definitely worth it if you haven't tried it before. Um, I mean, you, it's, it's self-implanatory. Like you saw how quick it drilled those holes. It feels like butter in your hands. It's effortless, phenomenal. I give it a five stars. Thank you. This is Anthony from 819 Fishing Tactics. You guys take care and uh, fish on. There you have it folks, that's the Ion Alpha Plus in the 8 inch and the 10 inch uh, bit. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I found it pretty interesting that uh, the 8 inch was only 0.2 seconds faster than the 10 inch. I mean, that's some pretty effortless cutting from a 10 inch blade. Uh, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe over at the bottom. And uh, happy fishing to everyone and take care.